Well, finally today, I think you know that I love people with great energy. And I also love people who take risks to make life more awesome, not just for themselves, but for other people. And I think you also know that I love snacks. So I really love chatting with the subject of our most Buffalo story of the day today. There was a spark and then it just, it set a fire after that. If you see a blaze of orange rolling through your neighborhood, it's just Melissa Massantono's dream. The Yum Sweets and Treats snack truck. That's yum with four M's, by the way. Actually, the M's is each one in our family. So myself, my husband, and the two children were all the M's for the four M's. So there's meaning there. And they take big pride in that. And they know, don't eat the treats. And when their friends come over and their friends start digging it, no, that's business. That's for mama's business. <laughs> mama's business, which may be best described as a concession stand full of smiles on wheels, just got on the road in May and is already gaining plenty of followers and fans. Melissa says she's always loved sweets and bringing people joy in her career caring for seniors. A big birthday, a health scare, and encouragement from friends drove her to take the leap and start a side hustle. Right now, I'm just out there trying everything just to get our face out there and people know about us. But I, I am excited to be working with fundraisers and uh, birthday parties and weddings. I just want to bring the smiles and bring that extra wow. I want to be that extra at your event for those out in the community. And that's important to me. I, I want people to walk away with that smile. Also important to Melissa, supporting other local business owners, along with the big national brands on her truck, are locally made treats, including cotton candy and cookies. She also serves Perry's ice cream. I love the synergy of local businesses being able to work together. So I'm always open to new ideas and putting it on the truck. When it came to finding her happy place, Melissa took the wheel and made her own opportunity. And she says there's nothing quite like the rush of being able to make anyone feel like a kid in a candy store. You only get one life to live and I want to make the best of it. I'm grateful for every day. And I'm going to leave you today with Melissa's inspiring advice for anybody out there who might be thinking about trying to launch their own business. So she says you have to be yourself, have a good time, and put your best foot forward. That is our show for today. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Kate Wellshofer. Be well, stay well. I'll see you next time.